Everybody, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It is Sunday, August 4th, 2024. Hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. Any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. There was two earthquakes early this morning near Smith Ferry, Idaho. A magnitude 3.0 and a 2.7. This area is capable of having a magnitude 7.0 or probably larger earthquake hi everyone i'm mary with mary greeley news thank you very much for joining me hope everyone is enjoying their weekend and has a blessed day and a blessed week that's coming up here you can see some different earthquakes there was an earthquake back in february a magnitude 3.5 and then um also a 4.9 yeah, that was probably the largest uh, one recently. But I'm thinking that this might have something to do with the Long Valley Fault Zone. Yeah, it is a north trending uh, fault. It is a, an area that's slowly stretching. And if they did have a large earthquake, there's quite a few dams close to this location. Uh, yeah. Here you can see a possible four point, uh, 7.0. This is the uh, Big Flat and James Creek Fault Zone where USGS uh, did a possible scenario of an earthquake. And there's also, do I have it here? Yeah, we got the uh, Black Canyon Dam. reason I'm showing you this is because that 4.9 actually was felt all the way down to this location. So if there was ever a magnitude 7.0 earthquake yeah could have some devastation here's the uh, felt report from that uh, 4.9 earthquake and let me bring it down you can see it was always felt all the way down by twin falls um yeah they're not giving me much information there and then we got idaho falls yeah they got some dams over there also um, Great Falls Dam. We got the Gem State um, Idaho Falls Dam. Let me zoom into that one there. And there's another one farther up river here along the Snake River. I was trying to research this this morning, but I couldn't uh, find the name of it. I'll have to do more research about it. But here you can see that 4.9 was felt all the way over there. There was two reports, Intensity Level 2 and Firth, Intensity Level 3. This morning, um, the magnitude 3.0 earthquake, two people said they did feel it. It's what they consider a light earthquake. And it looks like the reports came closer to the uh, Long Valley Fault. Uh, let's see, Intensity Level 3, one response there, Intensity Level 3, which means that was uh, felt noticeably indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Standing autos would have rocked slightly, vibration like a passing truck. This earthquake occurred at 3.45 a.m. local time. Did you feel it? Not everyone sends in reports to USGS that they felt them. Now, according to Home Facts, Smith Ferry has a high earthquake risk. Uh, with a total of 131 earthquakes since 1931. They seem to be increasing lately, though. The USGS shows that there is a 12% chance of a major er earthquake within 50 kilometers of Smith Ferry within the next 50 years. And I have talked about how earthquakes are increasing, not just in numbers, but in size. This uh, magnitude 4.9 um was the largest earthquake they've had there um that i could find they say the probability of an earthquake within the next 50 years for a magnitude between a 5.0 and a 9.2 within 31 kilometers or 51 miles of this area could very well occur 
Smith's Fairy is down over here, right there. Now, for the Black Canyon Dam, I'll bring that out because that's right down here. Right there along this Squaw Creek Fault Zone. It showed that the last major quake was probably about 7,600 years ago. Um, if this dam was to fail, it would flood out the city of Emmett. People often don't think about major disasters um, such as earthquakes disrupting not just power and infrastructure, um, roads, landslides, uh, injuries, things like that. But it would also disrupt your sewer systems, your water systems, yeah, things like that. Are you prepared for that type of scenario? Yeah, can you imagine a 7 or even a 9 earthquake in this location? We do have a town called Alf Alpha, it looks like. Probably a not very big town. A very small, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do their water there come from wells? I remember when I lived in Oregon. Here we go. We got some more towns here. Uh, when we had our um, large earthquake, um, my home was on a well. And the well was stirred up for quite a few days, all that sediment. And um, couldn't drink the water for a while. Luckily, I did have bottled water when FEMA came out to do home inspections. They said I was the only person in my town. Um, which was a small population, about 350 people, that actually had bottled water put up for disasters. Most people probably didn't even have uh, first aid kits beyond, you know, the basics of bandage and things like that, hydrogen peroxide. People have become so complacent in preparing for different types of disasters. Maybe the felt reports came from this location. I don't know. There was no felt report sent into Volcano Discovery. Um, nothing to EMSC. So I don't know how long the shaking lasted. If it was just a quick little vibration or, um, yeah, if they noticed it, things might have been swaying in their homes. Did you notice these earthquakes? Yeah, have you seen any damage? Uh, because they have been increasing over over the time. Um, yeah, especially that 4.9. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Have a blessed Sunday afternoon. Bye.